CataractCoach.com. Start the new year with purpose. And that means let's learn from each other to become better surgeons. I want to say thank you for all of your support, for helping me garner 47,000 subscribers, 16 million views. And today's video number 1,700, which means we've put a new video up every single day for 1,700 days in a row. And later this year is going to be video number 2,000. That's just really a blessing, and I'm so thankful to have your support. So when I say start the year right and start it with purpose, it means let's commit to learning from each other and becoming better surgeons. And I think a big part of that is being able to submit and record high quality video. So we're going to focus in this video here of how you can set up even your cell phone, your mobile phone, to help record high definition video from your current microscope setup. And it doesn't have to cost a whole lot of money. So let's get started. Now this is the setup that Dr. Ravi Gold is using to record his videos. You can see it's a beam splitter that used to be adapted to a lower resolution standard def video camera. That's gone. So now he's using that existing beam splitter with this adapter to connect his mobile phone to it. Now the nice part here is all mobile phones of the last few years record in high definition. You want to record in 1920 by 1080. That's pixels. And that is also called 1080p. You don't want to record in lower definition than that. And you can see here he's focused on a simulated eye. And the key here is to have the same focus of your camera, or in this case the mobile phone, that is the same focus as your oculars. So whatever you see in focus through your oculars while you're operating, it's recording in high definition, also in focus. We don't want low def videos or out of focus videos. Don't submit them. So here's the video that he's shot here. And you can see there's a big floater in the vitreous. He's filling the viscoelastic. You can see the shadow of the viscoelastic. Beautiful video here. You can see the outline of the capsular rexus. You can even see the lens epithelial cells on the undersurface of the anterior lens capsule. So really a high quality video image. And so you can achieve this as well. You've got a, a mobile phone. You can use your old mobile phone even and keep it attached to the microscope. And this is a nice way for you to be able to record great video. Now, I like to record my cases too, and I think it's imperative that you do that as well. You don't have to save all the videos. You can record over them and just save the ones that you find interesting. That's how you learn, by watching game day footage. If you really care about learning to be a better surgeon, and you really care about your patient's welfare, you want to record these videos so that you can study it to improve your own performance. You can see here at the end, as the instrument's going inside the eye, the focus is very, very sharp on the edge of the eye well, and that's where the surgeon is focusing. So on your cell phone or mobile phone camera, that'd be the icon for far vision. Remember, all the focusing is being done by the microscope. So there's no need for the cell phone camera to do any focusing. So set it to the icon or picture of the mountains, which is distance focus. And all the active focusing is going to be done by the scope, and it's going to be in, in tune with your oculars. Now, if you're a young surgeon with a lot of accommodation, be careful. Make sure you're not over-accommodating and causing the camera to be out of focus. But definitely, please, submit to me beautiful videos, but only those that are in high definition and the, those that are accurately focused. We like sharp focus. That's the type of video you want to see. Now, I don't want to end this video just with this. I want to give you a great surgical pearl, so here it is. Our friend Val Apostola from the Netherlands has this video of how to flip an eye well. He saw one of our videos from last year and he submitted me this short clip. Two pairs of these incisions. In the right hand, a chopper. In the left hand, a spatula. Importantly, the eye well is already freed from the bag. So the haptics are not glued down. Lifting up that one edge, using the spatula on the other. And look at that. You got to flip inside the eye. Now, also very important to spend time to make sure the haptics are not twisted. So get that lens rotated around, make sure the haptics are in the appropriate position. And now you know, in that rare case you ever have an upside down eye well, you now know how to flip it over inside the eye using this technique. So in summary, let's have an amazing 2023. Please record your videos and submit them at cataractcoach.com.